going on guys, Alex here and welcome back to the channel. Now, it's been a little while but we are back with the MX-5 and today we are doing something that I've been wanting to do for a little while and that is installing the Wink Mod. So, what we have here is the Jazz Performance Wink Mod. So, we've gone for the double one, or, or, well, the dual kit on this. So, you can order it either as a single or a double. Um, and basically, the difference is, is you can plug in only one or both. So essentially with the kit that I have bought, let me put that on silent because I always forget. Um, yeah, so the single one, you only plug in the one headlight and then you can control one that goes up and down. Whereas with the double one, it's literally that. It controls both. You've got a little toggle switch here, which goes left and right. You've got a little bit of a harness. And yeah, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this is a fairly simple install, hence why I'm on my own and I've not called in the troops. Uh, I feel like I should be able to do it, but uh, only time will tell. So let's get the car ready, have a look, double check the instructions, get set up, and uh, yeah, let's get this installed. The first step is to uh, decide where to mount this switch. So I'm going with mounting it here because obviously you're driving, you want it within reach. I went to grab this one, but there appears to be a plug in here, even though that's not actually a real functional switch. So I will figure out what that is later, but we are removing this blank. And what I'm going to do is try and drill a nice hole in it so that the uh, toggle switch fits in there nicely. And hopefully that should be a nice little mounting point there that doesn't look like too out of place. And then we need to figure out how to get the wiring down to where we need it. What I originally planned on doing was to modify this so that way that would clip into there that clips into there and then obviously this eventually clips into the car. However, the toggle switch is a bit too big to fit in here. Uh, it's actually like the same size as it. So I can't modify this anyway. So into the bin you go. So what I've done is I've made that the right size. That does fit in there, I promise. And then we put the, uh, the rings back on here then that so the bit i throw away is what stops this floating around inside here so all i'm going to do is put a little a little dab of hot glue gun uh, top and bottom then just hold it in there wait for it to set and then it should be good to go so i'm going to quickly do that and then while this is drying we can start offering this back into the car and working out where to run the wires into the engine bay so that they can then reach the headlights and do their magical thing. Probably can't see well, but in there, there is a little rubber bung. So a bit of struggle. I've got a bit of wire through where the bung goes, which I now can't remember where, but here it is. So I'm going to run the wires through there, then make a little hole in this. That way that still remains watertight and sealed. And then I can run the two cables out. So one to here, one along the back there, under the arc, under the wing and over to there. So let me get those cables installed. Well, not installed, but run through there. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's the worst of it. And just like that, we have got the cables into the engine bay. So now just carefully carry on pulling that through because it is a sharp metal edge down there. So yeah, got loads. So I'm going to run this bung through those wires, get that sealed back up before I forget. And I'm just going to carry on pulling the rest of this through. This just goes to a ground on the steering column. So I will 
figure that out in a little bit as I want to get these done first and then I'll find the ground then we test it before putting it all back in so now all you do is you unplug the headlight module there is this little grey rubber grommet because there is no pin in use there however this is where the uh, this one comes in we clip that into there can take a little bit of playing about he says sometimes it's easier to take out that yellow clip yep that clicked in then we push this the little red rubber seal that was on the end of the wire down just again so it makes it all nice and watertight we put this one back on and then it is literally a case of getting this one push that on now something to note is these ones don't click in uh, but they do have a rubber seal so that they do fit in nice and snug and it helps if I put that on the correct way around we'll find out okay so that is in I'm not going to worry about tidying it away just yet because I want to test it first so that is both sides already done again with the wiring I'm not going to worry about it just yet because again test so now all we're going to do is find ground for this and then we can test whether it works it should work straight away if it does if not then we've got a problem elsewhere I removed the, uh, the lower plastic cap of here just so I could see a little bit of what I was doing. This is the point I have decided on. Don't know how well you can see, but it's screwed in. Alex from the future here. Now, when doing this, be careful because I went to start the car yesterday and as you can see, that plug came off. So the car would not actually start. It took me an hour to figure that out. But yeah, just be careful of that. In, so... If all is correct, with the push of a button, yes. So, just one toggle of it, goes up and down, press and hold, and it keeps it up. Nice. I did the cabling as best as I can as I'm going to sort this mess out at some point anyway so it's only temporary so tucked with a spare there again the rubber grommet is back in place down there that's piggybacking off the brake lines down there under the front wing and again sorted all that out but once I do the overhaul of this area I'm going to try and tuck all of this stuff away nicely. So I think all that's left to do is to close the bonnet, and see the end result. Let's have a look. And as far as I'm aware, this should work with the headlights up. Right. Now you can even that's better than expected. Try with the lights on. One happy chap. So, there we have it. The Jazz Performance Wink mod installed. So, like I mentioned there, the Jazz Performance ones, I got mine from Boffy Racing, so I'll leave a link to those down below. But, yes done it went well smoothly can't complain so i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have make sure to drop the video a like let me know down below what you think and uh, subscribe as there is plenty more to come i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers